What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, it is a fortuitous day. Paradox Arc has given me access to a roguelike that I've been very, very excited about. This is one that I've had on my wish list for a long time. I've been looking forward to it aggressively. It seems like the actual pixel art and the way that the game is animated is very, very good from the gifts that I've seen over the years while it's been in development. So I'm very excited to be here today. We're playing Escape from the Mad Empire. I don't know too much about it aside from the fact that it looks great. So we're going to dive in today and do first impressions. What they gave me, I guess, is just a tutorial and a prologue. So we'll check the game out. We'll see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list. See if it's something you wanted to pass on. Take a look down below in the description for the link. And then, of course, you'll find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream. Just in case you wanted to hang out live. Let's dive on in. Time's a-wasting. That was a big blast. Are you okay? Can you move your head? All right, so we'll drag the camera around. Can you sit? Zoom out all the way and back. You Okay, we'll go all the way back. Oh, cool. It gives you, like, really cool iconography. We're under attack. Quick. You got to go talk to the general. All right. Let's go do it. So here's our little guy. And it looks like a fire just wandered. Was that a chicken on fire? We've been having a chicken problem lately. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and move over this way. It looks like they're beefing with some kind of critters over here. Can I fight them? I will fight them. I will aid in war. Yeah, there we go. Get some. It looks like we auto-attack, I guess. I'm not really clicking right now. It looks like when you share adjacency, you just start attacking. But you've also got a hit chance. Oh, it looks like they can't die. Never mind. They're stuck at 1 HP. The general is to the north. Well, you know me. I'll call the general and save some time. Finally, you're here. Come talk to me. Guardian, the time is grave and your emperor needs you. The entire empire is being overrun by a mysterious horde of the undead. Luckily, we might have found the source of the corruption. We need you to lead an assault team and put an end to the chaos. The nearby portal takes you to the root of the undead, but first you should probably train for your mission. Walk east past the portal to the training grounds. Don't perish on your mission or we'll revive you and kill you again. Fair. Nothing like a little bit of coercive survival. There's a wounded Ravager over there. We'll go past the portal on this. That guy has glowy eyes. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? He's got a very distinctive bad guy look. I'm just saying, he does not seem like a friend. You can train here. Well, then train I shall. What's going on with all these chickens around here? Finally, you're here. I suppose that you'd like to ask why we're sending a low-level soldier on such an important... Weirdly enough, the thought had crossed my mind how in RPGs you always show up and some general or magnate is like, Oh, thank God, you're finally... I was going to bring that up. It's, it's like you read my mind. Or how can we maintain training grounds in the middle of an invasion? You can't, soldier. You're not being paid to ask silly questions, but to die needlessly for your emperor. Oh, sir, I'm a Warhammer 40k player. You don't need to tell me twice. Now, Guardian, let's get you ready for your mission. First of all, grab your equipment. All right, I will grab equipment out of the chest. Oh, nice, dude. Cool pixel art on some of the gear right there. Can I rotate it? I don't know if we can rotate. Uh-oh, I want to be able to rotate. I want to rotate my squares. Uh, let's see. We've got arrows as well over there. And then we can go into our character sheet. We can strap on some armor. Is this going to make me slow or anything? It lowers my attack speed for each one of these that I put on. Gotcha. So we're going to cycle a little bit slower. All right. Weapons don't show up on the character. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, go attack a target. After that, your character will attack automatically every few seconds. All right. Attack away. Uh-oh. That's a miss. Well, yeah, dude. You gave me the hard training dummy. Try to hit the part that's not air. Listen, bro. You gave me a 60% chance to hit at the opening part of the game. How do you miss an unmovable target? I'm feeling a little bit uncultivated right now. I I'm feeling as though my teacher is kind of a dick. Oh, we have skills, too. I've got, like, a quick attack down here. I've got a rush. Okay. Skills are selected from the hot bar at the bottom. Gotcha. I think I can handle a hot bar. I can hit this, I swear to God. Oh my God, the dice do not favor us right now. I'm looking like a fool. There we go. Skills normally have a limited number of uses. Other skills like the quick attack have a cooldown. Next, use your knock skill on the dummy. Is that knock right there? That's push, 
taunt, second wind, knock. All right. Well done. You can see that the knock stunned the dummy so it won't move anytime soon. Each character has two weapon sets that can be configured independently. The Guardian's second set includes a longbow by default. Equip your bow on the second set. All right, what's the what's the key to swap that? Because in combat, I doubt I'm going to be able to click that fast enough. Is there like a hotkey that lets me swap weapon sets like W or whatever? Attack the ranged target. I have struck the ranged target the requisite number of times, sir. Now equip your melee weapon back. All right, I will put my melee weapon back. Now you're ready for a real fight. Go to the next room. Oh, a real one, huh? All right, what'd you guys trap up in here? Some kind of gremlin or something? What's going on inside? Of you? That guy's gonna res me if I die, huh? Ready to fight a real opponent? Your most important lesson is following. You can make actions on the pause whenever you feel over. Oh, we have push pause. Nice. Okay. I will step onto the mattress. Ow, you struck me with lightning. T bat. Ow, dude. I got friendly fired. The healer himself is the one what wounded me. All right, we're ready to roll. They're wounding me on purpose so that I will learn to heal myself. Now finish him. Arrow! Oh, the arrow did not do it. Swap over to the melee. Quick attack him and down he goes. And I've been healed back up. Excellent, try to fly towards your next challenge. I don't know if I'm capable of flight. I also went to the wrong door unprompted, so I don't know if I'm prepared for this mission. Ready to learn about cover and range spells? Let's see how you do when you control a sorcerer. All right. Walk on the mattress, and let's initiate some combat. I am now a sorcerer. Cover gives you defensive bonuses against ranged attacks. Hide behind objects, and to be effective, the cover must be placed between you and the enemy. Place your character in cover to defeat the archers from a distance. All right, get into cover. Now that you're in cover, use your arsenal of spells to defeat the archer. Oh, nope. I was clicking to skip on over the text. Uh, I've got guided bolts. Yeah, that felt pretty guided to me. Oh, it looks like you can cast instant casts from inside of cover, too. What about a lightning strike? That sounds fun. That was also a cool animation. I'll take it. Fire away. Do your thing. Oh, we missed. Fire some bolts at him. It looks like they can't really hit me right now, so that's good. I mean, he struck me, like, a little bit. Not a lot, but like, a, you know, un poco. Just a, a tiny bit of scuffing. What is the meteor? Ooh, meteor shower. Do that. Nice. I want a meteor shower more, guys. My body is... I'm out of spells. What does that one do? I just frost bolts him. That's fine. Go to the next room. I am no longer a wizard. Ready to learn about he... I mean, I feel like I learned about that already, but let's use a lab rat for demonstrations. At zero HP, your character will fall unconscious and bleed, and at minus 10, he dies. Healing stops the bleeding. Consciousness is regained above zero HP or after combat. Heal the test subject with a skill. All right, I've got a deep heal right there. Really cleans out the pores. Make sure you don't end up with any of that psoriasis or blackheads. Uh, each class has its own skills and specialties. Some of those skills are on cooldown. Select your Ravager and use an ability. Okay, I'm going to rage out. Rage against the dying of the light. Good. A raging character can't be controlled, but attacks a lot faster. Now select the battle priest and use their personal shield. Oh, boy. We've got all kinds of things we can do over here. Now let's practice group combat. All right. Yeah, you get in there and do your thing. I'm just going to run away. I don't want to get speared. I would very much prefer not to get stabbed. Ravager, assist me. Aid me. Ravage! Ravage more effectively! His name is Ravajo? Alright, this game is clearly not taking itself seriously. Now get the hell out of here so we can continue shady experiments. Okay. Have fun with your shady experiments. Hope Geneva doesn't find out. Bye. Help, we have an infestation issue. Get rid of the bugs. Pick up fire arrows and an explosion po- Okay. That sounds like an enjoyable- I want- yeah, I want that. All right, surfaces have effects on creatures. Swap to your bow and your second set to select the fire arrows. All right, fire arrows selected. Break an oil barrel. Oh, I see what we're doing here. We'll pause. And we'll quick attack. There it is. 
Cook up some bugs. Some items like potions can be used as bonus actions. They are used from your inventory with right click. Finish them off and throw the explosive potion. All right, I will. I will don't don't drink it. Throw it. That was very satisfying. I enjoyed it. Don't tell anybody I'm scared of bugs. They'll probably throw me in a dark pit full of them. Are we the bad guys right now? These punishments seem severe. Like, they seem very, very personally tailored. And I feel like that's the hallmark of the bad guy is that they know about you. And then, like, the scarecrow, they use what they know about you for punishments. That feels like a bad guy thing. Hurry, we're being overrun. They're coming from inside the tunnels, and we need to hold the position. Fortunately, we have reinforcements in reserve to help you. Everybody from the team must survive. Grab the battle supplies, and don't forget to use your bonus actions to pause, or you won't make it. Okay. I think I can live with that. Uh, we've got... What is that right there? So we've got ourselves a lightning storm scroll. We have an ice strike scroll. We have a fireball scroll. We have some more fire arrows, some normal arrows, some charming arrows. We have a freeze bomb. We have a major healing potion, which is green in this game, and then an explosive potion. All right, stuff has been grabbed. I can hear them coming from the tunnels. Get into position. All right, so what do I have here? I have, like, some kind of... Uh-oh. We are tactically paused. We may want you to go over there. We probably want you to go over there. You to go over there. And let's let's split everybody up real fast. Yeah, everybody get into position here. Oh, knight, over there. I was grabbing the wrong guy. All right, so I've got my bow out. We've got them right next to the explosive barrel. Uh, it did not... Okay, I'll take that. Uh, go ahead and engage right there. And then do I have a lightning storm? Yeah, do that. Lightning storm. Hell yeah, that worked out pretty well. I'll take it. This guy over here, rage out for me, would you? It doesn't look like I have a healer, though. But I do have a magic shield spell. Move over to here. And then magic shield him. You engage, but with a sword. Protect the wizard. Wizard doesn't have anything lined up just yet. Is he raging? I can't tell to what extent he is raging. I do have a fireball. Maybe I'll just throw that over there. That sounds like a fun play. We also have a charm scroll over here. We have a heal. A chaotic strike. Yeah. Chaotic strike worked. All right. You guys help out over here with the ranged attacks. If you've got a quick strike, I suggest... Oh, we missed. Unfortunate. Uh, charm that guy, I guess. He's now on our team. Is he going to, like, do his own thing now? It looks like he's just going to wander off in a different direction. Are you fighting right now? Did that shield make it so that he can't attack? Hold on. Applies bubble on the target. I mean, it looks like he's holding. I like the music, too. The harpsichord's getting wild over here. If you have a shield... Can I just, like, throw this? Don't worry about casting a scroll from my inventory when I need to, sir. He is attacking. Okay. Good to see. Ravajo is doing his thing. Over there, Ravajo. Hold that guy. Uh, you go fight on the bridge. There we go. We made it. We're safe for now. I actually like that once it opens up. Like, the combination of real-time turn-based... It's basically Baldur's Gate. Effectively, if you've played Baldur's Gate before, the combat flows like Baldur's Gate does. The only difference is that we're on kind of like a grid here. Although, I kind of always had the suspicion that Baldur's Gate was on a grid, too. You're almost ready for your mission. Okay. Bye, Ravajo. I liked your punny name. I didn't check the names of the other characters, but I bet they were equally hilarious, and if they're not, I feel bad for them. You seem tired. Short rest can be made at the campfire. You'll recover HP and a few random skill charges at the cost of hunger. Take a rest. All right. Let's do it. Gather our party and take a short rest. You look better. You must be hungry. Grab some food and drink from the chest. All right. 
How do I tell how hungry I am? Like, where's my satiate? Oh, it just tells you up there. All right. So we've got wine on an empty stomach. That seems like a terrible idea. I'm going to be super ripped on the battlefield. So we get hydration and satiety. Gotcha. You also both restore HP in the process. Some items will have party effects. Others will not plan accordingly. Now eat a bit. Okay. You just shared a meal with nobody. Eat a bit more. Okay, cool, man. You look less apathetic. Really? It's nice of you to say. You might not believe it, but you're ready for your mission. Go into the portal. Okay. I will march into the portal with no questions asked and see how this affects things. Go to the source of the undead. Whoa, lots of loot. All right, so we got arrows over here. We've got like, are those bad guys? They're cultists, okay. We're probably gonna have to fight them, right? Supremacy scroll, what does that do? Applies supremacy on targets for 12 seconds. What does supremacy do? Oh, we get an advantage on our skill swings. So they're basically just using kind of D&D &D rules out here. Cool. Healing potion. What was that one right there? Oil? Sleep potion. Okay, what is that red one? A minor healing potion and then a health kit. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, cultists, for all the sweet-ass loot. A ring of great will. Ready for attunement. We also have medium gloves of speed. All right, I'll take that too. And then we've got a belt of minor offense. That's the belt that you use when you only want to minorly upset somebody, but you're also feeling like a little bit toxic. You know what I mean? Uh, we will go ahead and I will put that on you. Apith, Graysamel, and Safawin. So that increases defense, and it gives you 20% attack speed. We probably want that on a melee guy then. What does Will do? There we go. You mouse over him. And it looks like willpower is their casting accuracy. So we kind of want that to be on a sorcerer, I guess. So we'll attune that up real fast. So it attunes when in combat. I'm guessing that's to stop you from swapping out equipment on people. Let's grab everybody, and the Oracle has announced you're coming. I've been expecting you for so long. What does this do? Oh, it takes you to the wish list page. Gotcha. It opened up my Steam dashboard. An Empire chest? Can I have it? It looks like we've got a belt of angry clones. When hit by an enemy, you spawn an angry clone with one HP that lasts 20 seconds. Okay. We probably want that to be on one of our tanky guys. And it mentions anger, so I'm just going to assume that that's for the barbarian. We also have the shirt of ultimate reflection, and that's part of a that's part of a set right there. So they're going to have set bonuses. Sick, dude. I'm actually kind of getting like... Uh, Dungeon Siege 2 vibes from the game. Acid Rain. What does that do? So we get attack speed when hit by melee spell, reflect 50% of the damage. Okay, we'll put that on you then. Off, off, and away we go. We have all of our things. Grab everybody up, and into the first room we go. Uh, let's go with normal difficulty, I guess. And we'll enter the dungeon. Can I break the pots? Oh, I can. Nice. They break automatically, and I get monies. I like that little money animation, too, and the satisfying little clink. What's going on in here? Just money over there. A bookcase. What does the bookcase say? A dusty book stands before you. You wonder what kind of secret or knowledge it contains. Somehow, you think that reading it might be a good experience. I get an intelligence test. Leave it alone. Let's see if the wizard can do it better. There we go. 81%. He got 90 XP. Nice, dude. Oh, you got a mouse over the golds. Gotcha. Uh, we have a spot right here. You guys open up on him. I have an angry clone. He is furious and full of rage and also murdering the enemy. I mean, he's kind of like doing his own thing right now. Oh, I'm taking one damage. Why am I ticking for one damage right now? Does he have poison on him or something? I don't know why he's ticking for one damage. Uh, where's my healer at? So we've got the battle priest. Let's go ahead and heal you real quick. Are these guys using some kind of psychic energy on me? 
They've got to be. Maybe it's reflective. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Either way, you should probably do like a healing potion. Is it the tiles on the floor that were maybe doing it? I'm not sure what I was taking damage from right there. But I was definitely taking damage from something. Uh, we've got a Lorica right there that gives 6 armor. Is it better than what he has? He has 15 armor. Okay, we'll take the Lorica maybe to sell it, but I don't think it's going to be useful for... What does the Priest have on? Maybe we'll give the Priest the Lorica. There we go. Can I just throw that stuff on the ground? I can. We also have some clear water, and it looks like we have some bread. Still not sure what I was taking damage from, which is kind of nerve-wracking. I only have so many charges, too, on my heals. Alright, well, heal people up for right now. And then I guess we'll carry on towards the next eggs. Oh, there's loot over here. Hold on. I left loot behind. I like their little scampering legs. It's got kind of like a Command and Conquer vibe to it. We've got a shield potion. Not bad. I think we can take that. Can I go through that door right there? There we go. Production values seem to be off the charts with this one. We've got bad guys in here. Where are they at? There's one right there. There's a big bone zombie. Oh, God. They're everywhere. Okay. You guys pull back into the hallway. You guys come down here. Go ahead and give me... Maybe like a, a shield spell. Can he only do that? Oh, it's a personal shield. Okay. Personal shield yourself. And then fight right there. Quick attack right there for the free damage. You attack right there. I have a couple of spells over here. Maybe we'll fire some guided bolts at them. I like how the spells go off while you're in the pause menu. It pleases me. Do you have a quick attack? You do. Quick attack him as well. Oh god, I'm on fire. Everything hurts. I don't know if I can get out of combat once I'm on fire. It looks like I can't walk that way. We may actually have a considerable problem here. Go ahead and ice him up real fast. He's got a quick attack as well. Is anybody else's quick attack ready to go? We have shock and we have weak point on him. What do you do? Second wind, use that. Something tells me the overall, like, I'm on fire thing you've got taking place right here. Well, level ups, that's good. I like our little victory music that we got right there. How do I put myself out once I'm on fire? Because I, I just, I'm just casually sort of noticing that they are continuing to burn. Let's pull out into the hallway, maybe. It looks like it just ticks downwards and you just gotta wait for it to be over. Uh, he's dying right now, which is not great. Can I, like, shove a healing potion down his throat? It doesn't look like I can. I can't shove food down his throat either. Oh no, dude, he's bleeding out. Can I shield him? Hey, it worked. All right. Clear the body and mind and gives you plus, it gives you tough skin. All right, so with you, let's drink the potion. And then with you right here, uh, maybe second wind. I don't have too much. I've only been through two rooms and I have no heals left. All right. I'm in, I'm in rough shape. A silver key. That's been added to our inventory at the top of the screen. Treasure chest over there. Loot on that side. We'll mouse over it to go grab it. And it looks like we have a refreshing spirit. We also have a shield potion. They definitely want you to lean like heavily on consumables. They give you a lot of them. We got another cheese right there too. A little bit of queso to make the, uh, make the meal go down. This has skulls around it. I don't think it's a good idea. An oddly shaped fountain stands before you. It spills dark ethereal liquid and seems to pulse as you look deeply into it. You're not sure what to make of it, but you guess it might heal you. He's got an 80% chance. It healed me! Yay! That was actually super vital for this moment. There was an explosive barrel down there that I didn't see either. Alright, maintain formation, boys. I guess we'll crack this one open. 
and we will enter the room carefully. We need two silver keys to get into the big chest. Sure, go for it. And uh, we've got a medium helmet of paralysis. It gives a stop charge. Applies paralyzed on target for six seconds. I can live with that. That sounds like a plan. We've got a 2d4 slashing sword right there, which is better than our 1d8. And it looks like we have a chance to cast sunbeam whenever we hit the enemy. Freeze bomb right there. A little bit more queso. Let's grab this chest over here too. And it looks like we've got a leather helmet that just gives us baseline defense. Go ahead and throw that on him real fast. And then we've got a mind blast scroll. What's on that? Plus one HP. I mean, we got nobody else equipped with it, so maybe just put it on the cleric, I suppose. Grab my monies, too. Is there a way to, like, rotate my party? All right, so let's take you guys, go out front, go out front. Maybe we'll do a mind blast. Oh, I got to wait for him to get closer. All right. You guys hang out right there, and if they're not, like, throwing stuff at us. Or, oh, that guy got obliterated. Consumables, dude. Hell yeah. What else do I have around here? I don't really have a whole lot of spells left. I do have a lot of scrolls, though. Maybe, maybe cover the ground in acid. Attack to the diagonal. I think tactically that one went a little bit better. The downside here is I can't get into the room due to the acid, so we're going to have to wait it out and see if it disappears and dilutes. It doth. It doth. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's too much in there aside from just like a little bit of money. I need a blue key to get through that door. Let's carry on down this way. You guys out front once more. We don't know what's going to be in here. Looks like zombies. There's an explosive zombie. We probably want to do something about that. Yeah, if he's going to explode, I definitely don't want him near me. Do you, got, do you also have a ranged attack? You do not have a ranged attack. Fa oh, there's a bunch of them over there. Rage out. Go ahead and hit him for 12. I don't want to use my sunbeam just yet, but I would like for the priest to be in the room for the festivities. And in fact, that worked out. He killed a guy good. They're now down. We can't control what the Barbarian does. But... I don't really have anything left that I can throw. Come over here, I guess. If I push a guy, we'll push them barrels or casters away from the cat. Okay, cool. He's got a quick attack. Is he just firing arrows right now? Wait, he's a sorcerer with a bow? How strange. How unorthodox. Oof, explosions hurt. I didn't see that other one was an exploder zombie. All right, well, we made it through that one. I'm starting to get a hang for it. Basically, you've just got to camp the... You've got to... Basically, you've just got to camp the push boss super hard and plot out every single thing that you want to do. Uh, he's a little bit wounded, so we'll go second wind on him, I guess. Does he have second wind or anything like second wind? No. So I think he's just going to have to be wounded for right now. Okay. Any more doors? Let's go to the campsite. We got a campsite up here that I can clearly see. We'll go rest for a minute. We'll get our satiety down. And then we'll like feed and water everybody and see how that whole system plays out. All right, rest the party. Uh, everybody is, like, hungry, though. He also has an injury. Fair enough. Does this share? Got a little bit of food right there. 
little bit of cheeses. Little bit of cheeses. And the wizard's gonna go hungry because he's not, like, physically exerting himself anyways. He's not burning that many calories, wiggling fingers around. Mostly, I just wanted my ability charges back, and it looks like we got a lot of them, so... I'll go through and do a full inventory in just a minute. But inside this room, we have the Undead King. Uh-huh. Anybody want... He's very well read. Apparently, my guy is a big fan of, of the reading. Oh, you're here. You're a bit early. I was perfecting my wonderful beverage. I'm sure you're eager to understand my master plan, but I'm not done yet, so I have to go. In the meantime, why don't you have a little potion tasting session? The Mysterious Potion. You burn to know. Come on, it's just a sip. We also got a blue key. Oh, I'm gonna go through the blue door first, and then we'll decide what we want to do after that. But so far, I like it. It's pretty rad, dude. It's basically like, uh... It reminds me of Icewind Dale, where it's like a pure dungeon-crawling experience with these characters that you've got. And if I think the, the key here is going to be for the game to have like a hero siege level of character diversity that you can bring in with you that all do different things for finding synergies and whatnot. I guess I can drink the potion. It turned me into a chicken. I've been enchickenified. I've been empoyoed. But I'm back to normal now. This game's fascination with chickens. All right, so there's like a giant. You found my secret stash. You'll see, it's a great vintage. Now, I insist you'll have to taste it. Take that. Ow, I've been death lasered. Call down the sunbeam on him. Yeah, give him the sunbeam. Let him taste it. Let him feel it. Oh, he's got a lot of HP. All right, get him with that right there. You probably just want to hulk out at this point. Move down to there and face him. Get him with the double strike. You missed with both. I'm so disappointed in you. All right, everybody get in here and start dealing some damage. Oh, he's tougher than we are. I don't know if I have anything I can, like, throw at him. It'd be nice, though. Ooh, 10 damage right there. I'll take that. I believe that he may be shielded. It looks like maybe he's got cover, too. Ooh, a knockback, eh? All right. Oh, a knockback and a sleep. What do you have going on over here? What can we do? Knock? See if you can stun him. Hey, he's stunned. Very nice. Uh, get him with the firebolt from behind. And then you, as soon as Sunbeam comes back up, we'll give that a go. Clear his body and mind and bring him around to the alternate side. See if we can get some hits off. I mean, we're doing damage right now. We're getting there. Taunt that fool. Make him fight you. You're persistent, but I've barely shown you my power. Uh-oh, is he like multi-phasic? Time for the final degustation. All right, well, everybody get in there and keep pounding on him. He blunked. Take that! No! I don't want to take anything. Firebolt! Oh, he's shielded. What does this do? Shock. A front cone. A mighty hit. The mighty hit was successful. I will take the mighty hit. You may be like, personal shield yourself a little bit. My wizard is having a really bad time. You guys move out of the AoE. Kind of reminds me of Arclash Legacy, too, in that it requires a fair... That's a meteor shot. A plasma beam. Okay, go down that way, and then plasmificate him. I don't know if that's a word. I just made that up. Uh, plasmification did work. Heal the wizard. All right. Now we brawl. He's got acid on him. That's unfortunate. Oh, he put my cleansing guy to sleep. That's not good. Get him with what you have. 
Yeah, demoralize him, I get. Oh, it's an AoE. Damn. Okay, never mind. Do not demoralize. Couldn't get him with the weak point. He missed, unfortunately. Supremacy, though. Will that put supremacy on... Okay, on all targets. I mean, I guess since he's in the superior position, give it to him. You think you will stop me? You won't. So now you have the poison he's used to transform soldiers into chickens. You can keep that poison batch. I have plenty more. I'm on my way to the second phase of my master plan. I'll be honest, I really dig this demo. I think this game is rad. I think it's super cool. I want to play a lot more of it. Uh, this is Escape from the Mad Empire. Escape the Mad Empire. I guess I added an extra word. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. This game definitely has big Dungeon Siege 2 vibes or like R Clash Legacy vibes. I'm even more excited about it now than I was previously because it's now been verified as a dope game. It makes sense why Paradox decided to publish it. This one's got wheels on it. If they keep adding more items and more character classes that you can pick for different comps, this is effectively like an endlessly playable game, and they've got 50 years of Dungeons & Dragons to pull stuff from. Check it out. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, and that's about all I got for you. Bye, folks.